Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy New Year. Welcome to January the 2nd. I know y'all are excited about this day as I am. And people been inboxing me what's happening on January the 2nd. Well, Han T, this your first time here? Welcome to the channel. First of all, we so glad that you found us in the year 2023. Hit the button. Ring the bell, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and then share this devotional. Uh, yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. You know, we are excited and glad about it. I don't know about y'all, but I am so glad that the holidays is over. That's what January 2nd is about. You know, because some people can literally make you sick, make you really hate the season of Christmas because of their facades, because of their fake love and their false worship, you know, because the day after Christmas, the real people come back, you know, they put on this, uh, Christ the King, this is the reason for the season, Jesus is the reason for the season, and then soon as Christmas is over, they cussing and fighting and, you know, killing people and just gone back to normal and then there's those that get up there with their pajamas on and like they all one big happy family i have never worn christmas pajamas with my family i don't know when it became a thing but i'm so glad and i and and i can you know if you sing along here leave a comment below if you are glad that today is january 2nd that it's behind me now and, you know, as we brace ourselves for the next season where people just put on all this commercialism and those of us that are alone, we we go through. People don't know how we go through. And it's not just singles. It's not just divorced. It's just not the people that are widows. You got some married folks and some folks that got girlfriends and boyfriends and right there beside them depressed because uh, they putting on a front and uh we just glad that the holidays are over. It ain't that we don't love Jesus, because we love Jesus. We don't like y'all. <laughs> we just don't like you fakers. You fake people have this phileo kind of love, but not agape. You, you, you don't consider your sisters and your brothers who are going through something. You know, you don't consider the woman who just lost her, her, her husband or the man who just had to bury his wife because of cancer and you sit up there and you fronting and you parading and they're depressed and it's, it's okay that you happy but consider somebody else and at least reach out for them you you know because you was at the funeral you know they going through but I, but and, oh thank you jesus this word that he gave me just now i got the devotional book it's a brand new book it ain't brand new i've had it, but i ain't, ain't read out of it yet it's called the mountains are calling but well, in my case it's the desert is calling because i'm getting ready to head to arizona this week um but in this devotional he said today psalm 30 and 5 30 verse 5 for his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Y'all, if I tell you that on the 2nd of January, Joe, Joe, Joy, Joe ain't coming. Joe's yesterday. Joy showed up. Let me, let me, let me, let, let me want to help you out a little bit. Girl, wake up. Joy has come to your house today, amen? So we can go ahead on and dry our tears. We survived it. That's the good news. We we survived it because the enemy, not your friend, don't, don't, don't look at Shaquita, don't look at Ray Ray and Buck, it, it ain't them. It's the spirit that's behind them because the enemy has designed that he would cause us to lose our mind, that we would caver and cower under the weight of depression, that the anxiety would cause us to have a heart attack and die out, go flatline. But the enemy is a liar. Satan is a liar. You know, and I just thank and praise God. You know, I ended the year with a bang. You know, I ended the year uh, meeting Yolanda Adams again. I ended the year side by side 
with Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. You know, I it, and and at that point, I knew things was on its way back up. I knew that I I, I always gonna bounce back because I I got that bounce back spirit. You know, you knock me down, I'm bouncing back. I'm one of them kind of girls that if 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 if, if you hit me and you think you to knock me out, you think you got a TKO boo. I, I'm a sister Muhammad Ali before the referee. Before the devil, before my enemies can say one, two, three, I done bounce back up. Amen? Because God give me the bounce back spirit. Yeah, I get knocked down. The Bible said you get you can fall down seven times. Get back up on eight. So I'm that kind of girl, and I pray you are too, that if the enemy knock you down, got you crying, or scrape your knees, I got a, I got a, a bump on my leg right now because of something that hit, fell and hit me. But you know what? I shook it off. We got to have the bounce back spirit. Yeah, I know you don't cry, girl. You go and wipe your eyes, dry your eyes. I, I cried too. I'm just real and I'm raw. This, this is the season that we're entering to now. January the 2nd, I want you to do something for you. You've done for everybody else. You done took care of the kids, the grandkids, the husband, mama, daddy, sugar, ray, boo. I, you done took care of everybody. Now it's time for you. To take care of you. If you've ever been on an airplane, ever been on a ship, and they give you the debriefing before they take off, they tell you to pull your oxygen down and put your oxygen on first. Why? Because if you put oxygen on your three children, by the time you get to the second child, you have lost your oxygen. You laid out because the cabin is depressurizing, and you got to take care of you first so that you have the oxygen. The fortitude, the strength, the stamina to take care of the next person. Sister, this self-care time right now, it, it's not selfish. It's taking care of self. That's just the way God designed it. He said, love your neighbor. It, the people in the airplane, the people on the ship, love your neighbor like you love yourself. You can't love them if you don't love you. I love me some me. I, I love me almost as much as God loved me. And I don't care who don't like it. I love me. Somebody, yeah, uh, 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 somebody told me yesterday, last night on the way home, called me said, "You know what? You are just so beautiful." I said, "I know that." <laughs> he said, "Oh, just, 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 oh, okay." I said, "No, it's called confidence, bro. I know how to wear confidence because, see, if you don't, if nobody tells me, I look in the mirror." And talk to the woman in the mirror said, girl, God, I said, Lord Jesus, you did a good thing with me. And he said that in Genesis. He said, it's a good thing. He called me a good thing. And guess what? You a good thing. He said, when he created you, it was very good. Amen. So, girl, pull out your mirror. Look at the mirror and talk to the girl in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, the man in the mirror. And let it start with you. You tell yourself, I'm a good thing. I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to love me because Christ loved me. He loved me so much that he died for me. So, y'all, Happy New Year. Welcome to my world of self-care. Dry your tears. Weeping is over. It's morning. I don't care what time it is when you see this. When you hear this, it's morning. Get up, wake up, wipe up, and go up. God bless you. Don't forget to hit that button and ring that bell. It's a new season. God bless you.